Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Empress Aries 888. My name is Tanya. It's too early. Why am I up this early? It's so early. Another early morning message. So set your intentions. I've already cleared the energy. I'll do it again. Spirit guides and angels of your whitest light. Please protect me as I'm channeling this message. Please protect my collective. Please give me a message of healing, of hope, of guidance and understanding. Thank you so much for your blessings. Spirit, we love you and we appreciate you. Amen. All right, I'm up early. Let's get this party started. I'm not sure why I'm up early, but I guess we're going to find out, right? All right, let's do this. And I hope you're having a wonderful morning, early morning, afternoon or evening. Whatever time you tuned in, I so appreciate you. And please, on the way in, click on that like button. It's an energetic donation, and it helps me to tap into your energy. It helps my channel grow. And thank you for those who have liked, subscribed, and shared the, these videos. I'm humbled by that. So grateful. Thank you so much. Look at this. It's so early I can't even shuffle these cards. So I'm just going to do it as quietly as possible so I don't wake up my fans. These are collective readings. As I'm shuffling, I'm going to just keep talking. Which means any energy, any sign. Energy does not have a designated he or she, but I will say he or she because I'm a 3D kind of person at times. So please forgive and if it doesn't resonate with you, check your placement because you do have more than one astrological sign in your chart. I think I said it all right. Am I missing anything? <laughs> all right, Spirit, can you see messages, please? Since you got me up this early, let's do this. My name is Tanya. I'm a spiritual healer. And I'm an empath, and I welcome you to my channel. Thank you. All right, Spirit. What's the message this early morning? Apologize if my voice sounds weird. It's just, it's too early to talk. <laughs> it's just too early. All right, Spirit. Thank you. Night of air. Air energy is Gemini. Libra, Aquarius, intellectual, determined, motivated. All right, and I forgot to mention that I did do some shuffling and I did the energy of the reading. And the energy is Goddess of the Moon. That's from the Energy Oracle. That's how early morning it is. I can't even think. This is intuition that you can tap into. This is the time. What does it say in here? This card is all about intuition, the ability to receive insights from your soul point of view. Receiving this card upright tells you that you have the power to get intuitive information of all types of issues, and now is the time to use it. The goddess of the moon brings you all types of information from the mundane to the spectacular. For instance, you could get the urge to take a different route home from work or find out later that you've avoided a three-hour traffic jam or you might have an idea for a great invention, a stock investment or a spellbinding novel. This card could also indicate a significant blossoming of psychic ability and mediumship even on a professional level. You're always blessed with this ability to connect but this card is telling you that now is the perfect time to open up. Get ready for the amazing inspiration that this brings. Hmm. Now that's a good card right there, isn't it? So your intuition is on point. Your intuition is you have the ability to tap into that intuition. Do it. Now it's saying here, intellectual, determined, and motivated person this night. All right, let's see. Thank you, spirit. Night of Earth. So you got Night of Air and Night of Earth. Organized. Responsible and supportive. So you might have two 
knights are two options here of individuals that are coming towards you. One of them is earth energy. One of them is air. Earth is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Different personalities. You might have one person in your life now. You might have one person coming towards you. Take what resonates. And I could be saying you, and I'm talking about your person. Or I could be saying your person, and I'm talking about you. So just flip the switch as you need to. As well as, um, this could be past, present, or future energy, if I haven't mentioned that before. So, what it's saying is the goddess of the moon, you can tap into your energy as to who these people are. And if just because it's a knight does not mean it's not a feminine energy. Um, masculine and femi feminine, we have both within us. So, it could be a female with masculine um, energy prevalent, more stronger. Or it could be a male with more feminine energy. Spirit, tell me some more about these two people. Spirit, tell me more. Cards are a little bit more harder to shuffle, I apologize. Tell me more about this. Spirit. These are like, what, quiet types? <laughs> Don't want to say much. Three of Fire, Aries, Leo, Sage. Goals, expansions, and a vision. So maybe you have, or that person has a vision. Thank you, Spirit. Three of Earth, talents. So maybe these people are going to help you on your way to a goal that you have. Maybe you have an idea that you're trying to master. And one of these people or both of these people have play a part in this expansion for yourself. Magician, you're manifesting something or your person is. Yeah, manifesting something, empowering yourself, tapping into your intuition. Now you've got the king of water. What in God's name? A passionate, understanding, trustworthy. Ooh, busy. Busy like that. Now this is a king from a knight to a king. This could be the same person though. One of these people could be expanding from a knight to a king. Six of fire, success and recognition. I'm telling you, you're on your way to something successful. And these people could be a part of this community or this uh, expansion. You might be meeting these people. You might know these people. You might be going into business with these people. Six of water, memories, nostalgia. This could be love. Nine of water, wishes and dreams and happiness. You're wishing for something different. Remembering the past. Give me some more spirit. About these individual spirit. What's going on? Thank you. Two of fire. Planning. Partnering. See that you're partnering with one of these people. Or a multitude of people. Or this could be a job. Where you're getting. You're meeting these people. These individuals and each of these people are going to help you along the way on your growth and your expansion in some form or another, right? Because in this world, we're either a lesson or a blessing, right? We, we get these people come into our lives and they help us along the way. And these are good individuals here. But knights are not kings. Let's, let's not get it twisted. A knight is younger, more immature, not as settled in life. Or maybe your person was never settled in life. And now they're coming to be a king of water. And water is emotions, right? You can see this individual with their heart, holding their heart, right? There could be changes in a connection where it went from, uh, hit it and quit it, went from friends with benefits to something more. This is somebody from your past. This is somebody that you're thinking about. But there could be new people coming in as well. Take it how it resonates. Eight of Earth. Self-doubt, confession. Maybe you're not quite sure of w one of these people or these individuals. See right here, five of fire, conflicts. Competition, maybe you're, these people are competing for you. These knights, this king, for your heart. Can you define what this is about, Spirit? What is all these conflicts about? 
Let me just kind of put the box there. Thank you. Wise counselor, learning traditions. You are learning something, you are growing, and the goddess of the moon is here to help you as with that, with your intuition, and with these people as well. But I think it's more than one thing here that's going on here. Look, see? Four of water, distraction, self-absorbed, discontent. See, here it is again. I get this card a lot. Where there's the divine is offering this beautiful cup of love. But you're distracted here. So there's more than one option here that's keeping you focused. And it could be your person here. And this could be past, present, or future energy. At one time, this person was distracted with other people. This king of water. Three of air. Yeah, and it caused sorrow. But they're looking for forgiveness. They're looking for healing in this connection. Give me some. They would have wished they would have made a better choice. And they caused you sorrow as well, this person. But now they're coming in, not with their head, with their heart. All right, thank you, Spirit. Queen of Earth, this could be you. Gracious, practical, and capable. And you're capable of whatever it is that you're thinking about doing or you're doing at this time. It is going to be successful. Use your intuition. Age of water, emotions, relationships, intuition. I can't make this up. You have a choice. They had a choice. They made the wrong choice, and now they want forgiveness from you. But you're also working on yourself. But your intuition is on point, and the goddess of the moon is here to also expand that. Five of air, mistakes. See, I can't make this up. Somebody made a mistake in a connection. Somebody took you for granted. Water is here too. Water is emotions, right? But water is Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. There could be any energy here, really. But air is prevalent here. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Inspiration, communication. They want to communicate with you. The world, celebration, completion. You make them complete. But completion is also, the world is also a change. So there is a change from a knight. This person was a knight. And this person now has emotions. They're going from a knight to a king. So they have they have matured, this person. They have matured. They have grown. Queen of fire. Intelligent. Determined. That's you. And this could be also, this person could be a queen as well. So there's king of water. They could have emotions, but they could be an earth sign. You could be a fire sign. Take it how it resonates. It could be oh they could be the water sign too. So like I said, there's options here. There's options here. Okay. Six of Earth. There's a lot of earth here and there's a lot of air. And you do have multiple signs in your charts. You do. So this could be going from one extreme to the another. Six of Earth. Charity, generosity. They want to be generous with you where they weren't before. They kept their feelings under lock and key. They didn't use their intuition. They used their head. And they've been in their head about this connection. But your success is outside of this. And you are ascending. But they could be coming in to help you. And that is what I'm talking about here. There's people that are going to be in your group. That are going to be in your passe. That are going to be helping you with whatever it is projects that you're working on. Outside of this love connection that's going on as well. Six of air. Yeah hope moving on you moved on from this connection maybe you don't want it anymore eat a fire but there is they, they're coming in quick though a lot of fire in this a lot of air and a lot of earth you could have air you could have fire you could have earth in your chart they could too but they were coming in as immature at one time as a knight and now they're coming in as a king that's progress right there they could be helping you with your projects too, whatever it is you're working on. Four of fire. They want to celebrate. Celebrate double confirmation of that. They want prosperity. They see you as their prosperity, your, their success. Oops, thank you, Spirit. Earth again. I'm telling you, there's earth and fire here. Earth, wind, and fire. There you go, like the group. Yeah. 
contentment, luxury. These, this person looks for the finer things in life. They see you as finer things in life. Yeah. Take that out. It resonates. Ten of water. Prosperity. Look at that. Ultimate success. Ultimate happiness. Family. You're their family. You're their blessing. Let's move on. Let's see what else. Um, let's go here. Let's go to... What is this card? Hang on. Angels? Isn't it? I got a lot of angel cards today. Romance angels. This is the romance angels. All right, Spirit. What do you got for me? The romance angels. This early morning reading. Too early, Spirit. Just saying. Too early, baby. Too early. All right. But this is about you ascending, you using your intuition and a connection. You have more than one option of person, but there is a past person that has changed from a night. Like, sort of like a um, mid-age person, like a young person, a mature person, to a king. Because they love you. That's what this is about. All right, Spirit, give me a message, please. Thank you, Spirit. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, you, your love, your bond deepens, I should say. There you go. So they want to get to know you more. Letting go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Maybe that could be that your person. That could be you. You've been trying to control the narrative. And look at the bottom of the deck. Wedding. The situation involves marriage. Could possibly involve marriage. I'm not going to say they're going to come with a ring. Come on now. If you're having conflicts, that's not going to happen right away. But it could happen. Eventually, if you get to know each other, um... If you let go of control, my friends. All right, let's, where am I going here? I'm getting, I'm losing control of this reading at this point. Let's go. It's too early. All right, what else we got to say about this subject? Spirit, show up, please. Show up and show out. Whatever you're working on, keep going with that. Do not get sidetracked. That's the whole point. If Spirit is working with you to help you grow... A channel of your own like this or some other project spirit is saying use your intuition because they are the goddess of the moon is here to help you and spirits here to help you as well that's fair. a couple cards please thank you spirit i miss you no communication no contact no lie they're missing you oh but they're thinking about you. Oh my goodness. Desire and physical attraction. I ain't gonna read it, but that's what it's about. But it's more than that. It might have been just that in the past. Like I said, night, they've grown up since then. It's emotions now, see? It's no longer just that. It's their heart on their sleeve, man. Don't be thinking that. They're coming in, but you're gonna know with your intuition. Pray what you, no, pay what you owe, karma. You receive what you have put out. Karma is just another lesson, word for lessons. So they've gone through their karma for this connection. They've been feeling the karma of losing you. Thank you, Spirit. Ground yourself to understand the chaos. Maybe that's what you're thinking right now, but take a deep breath, calm down. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. We're going to get through this together. Intense connection. This is a deep connection that triggers may arise. That's why you're saying this. Triggering. This person triggers you and you might trigger them and you're like, what the? Yeah. For real. All right. It says praying. Seek higher power for guidance. And that's what spirit's here for today. Spirit's here. They're saying they're with you. They're not going to leave your side. They understand the situation that's going on here, but they're here. And success is in the cards today. This is a successful reading. This means you might be, I don't want this. Part. I'm telling you, give them a chance. Don't dismiss this right away. You will know through karma. I mean, karma. Yeah, oh, there you go. You will know through 
your intuition if this person's a genuine person. That's what Spirit's giving you this advice today. All right, Spirit, any other advice you got? Any other advice, Spirit, you got for me? All right, what does it say? What does it say? Detox your friendships. Amen. This is probably your person, I'm telling you. You could be you too. Your abundance... I can't even read this morning. Your abundance flow is being affected by the people with whom you're speaking, you're spending time. So be discerning about your association and relationships. Choose to be with people who are inspiring, generous, and supportive. This could be you or your person. This could be their karma that they had to learn. Yeah, they might have had to learn karma. They might have had to learn. And you might have had to learn associations. This is why they, there's more than one option. If people are coming into your life that are going to help you ascend, that are going to help you with whatever projects you're working on. This is what that's saying. All right, spirit. All right, let's see. Any messages before we move on to the affirmations? Oh, what? Spirit. It's too early for this nonsense. Come on now. Man, they want to say a lot of stuff, but they ain't going to, because I ain't got time for that. All right, Spirit, are you kidding me today? Give me, like, one or two messages. Let's not pour out our heart. That's when they contact this person. <laughs> and they're going to be contacting you. Apparently, they got a lot to say. All right. Got a lot to say. Let's see if they can say it in as few messages as possible. Spirit, the time is going, yeah. I got to get back to bed. All right, thank you. All right, trust. It is safe to trust in this situation, Spirit's saying. The vulnerability, you can be completely open with this person. Apology, you can expect an apology that you want to hear. Amen. Think about it, baby. And look at this at the bottom of the deck. True love. This love is emotional, physical, unconditional, and triggers your, you know what, your butt. Yeah, this person's going to trigger you. All right, affirmation time. I got balance. I find a balance between each sphere in my life. I am the master of my daily life. I make time to nourish the spiritual and the physical. I bring love to my world by fulfilling the needs of my body and soul. Amen. You need balance. All right? Don't let this person trigger you. Balance yourself out. Meditation. That's a big one. Okay? That'll get you centered unconditional love my heart is free from the resentment towards others i open the eyes of my heart and discover the light and beauty in every being i am aware that suffering can cause distress and hurt in people i see the pure child in everyone and practice forgiveness and if you don't this is where the balance comes in you need to because this person needs your forgiveness this is a, a very intense connection it's unconditional this person started out one way they become another use your intuition you have also ascended and grown too. There are going to be people coming in your life. This person is one of them. Give them a chance to show that, show you how they have changed. Thank you so much for joining me. I so appreciate this early morning you joining me or whatever time you have pressed that play button. And please like and subscribe. I'd certainly love to have you as part of my soul tribe. And join me next time for Empress Aries 888. And until then, be safe out there, my friends. Be blessed.